Ooh, and we're back again on the Rise Digital Stand. And I'm joined again with Anna Lou. This is sort of the common theme for today. I know, right? <laughs> so Anna Lou, what have you got for us now? Well, this is my one of my products again. Um, this is Rabi Ribi. And we are looking at a first PS4 build. So this game is quite cute, quite small, as in quite light, but quite good. Um, it's Castlevania slash Metroid style, so you will have a lot of... Ooh. I know you like Castlevania, so <laughs> this should appeal to you, hopefully. Soon. <laughs> right, so this is coming on PS4 and PS Vita, and it is coming quite soon, actually, um, this summer. Oh, okay, so basically in about a month or two. Yes. Um, hang on, I'm an idiot. I've been trying to launch something that isn't ready. I'm going with casual because I'm because I am a casual. Um, uh, I mean, you, you don't seem like the dirty, filthy casual type to me. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. So, Rabbi Ruby, the storyline is that you're playing as Irina. She's a bunny who's been turned into a human. So she has a human body, but she has bunny ears and a bunny tail, and she's a bit because she's confused. And she doesn't know what happened. She's all a bit. Um, uh, I like she's quite naive she's quite innocent and she's looking for her master so it's it's quite a light-hearted game in that regard um, but there is a ton of story actually so this is arena waking up so you can see 2d platformer side scroller pixel style this is our main character how she ended up that way is anybody's guess I don't know why the bunny would be in this in the first place, but she doesn't know either, so she's quite confused. So there is no voice acting, it's all about the, the text, but you have a ton of music. There's 55 songs um, in the soundtrack, and... That's more than most games, actually, now that I think about it. And the music is really good, it's very diverse as well. Um, yeah, so she's, she's just discovering... Um, the twist about this, instead of just being a standard side to, uh, 2D side scroller, is that you have bullet hell sections as the boss battles. And there's 40 plus battles, so that's a lot of stuff. And they have loads of different patterns. It's quite beautiful as well. And so it, it puts you, you know, you have exploring. It's a really big game. And you also have those really intense battles with music, with lots of uh, jumping around. So in between the 2D pixel art, you have those really nice CGs um, and all the characters are also, when there is a story bit, they are talking with that style of art. So there is a, a nice um, intermingling of beautiful art and 2D exploring. I like how specifically it turned her into like the, the bunny suit as well. It is, it is such like a playboy look of... You know, she could have been like a furry human, but instead she turns into like a super sexy, but it's like, I'm looking for my master kind of thing. It's just, well, you know, it comes from Asia. There is no escaping that. Um, you did that impression a little bit too well. <laughs> <laughs> See, she, she doesn't know she's cute. She just thinks she is. Um, Awesome, it's actually got the name of the songs in the corner, actually. Yeah, so in the physical version, we will be uh, giving, well, giving, selling, I suppose, the soundtrack away. Um, oh, yeah, no, that's the thing. Took me ages the first time. <laughs> no, no. I haven't played this on a PS4 controller, so um, it exists on Steam. We're porting it to PS4. Hang on. The hall is here. There you go. And we are in there. And we are out. So you start off in this place which looks like the modern world, but actually you go explore and then the rest is a lot of... You're in caves and then you're by the beach, so there is a ton of content. And um, the stages, there's only nine, but there is loads of sub-levels in each of them. And it's one of those games where there are areas that you can't access yet because you don't have the power, um, because you don't have the right upgrade. So you will be able to see them later on so you have to come back and find the place. So there's a lot of branching paths, a lot of uh, collectibles to find. Absolutely. So it's 
there, there is an RPG element to it in that regard that you have lots of upgrades but you can also choose what kind of gameplay you like so I, I prefer to be a range caster but you can also be all about so you find 60 different items and you have like a magic hammer and um, you just yeah you you also have a support that helps you out she's a little fairy that you meet really early on called Dribbon um, and she will help you and you can control her as well she upgrades she has different um, weapons uh, different spells so it's um, it's a good combination it's actually quite detailed in the uh, fighting play I'm just, I'm just hoping to see some combats in it's just that it moves it's also very well I think the actually 2d pixels have actually been up, have been scaled up really well so mm. it doesn't have any of the actual actual jaggedness to it but it looks really quite nice and clean it's actually quite smooth to play so i'm not feeling any staggering um so the stories also it's in you're in the magical world so she, they, they all get powers and there are witches and obviously you've been turned into a human so there is something afoot and you're going to go look for your master but as you move in the world and explore there are people apparently there's real bunnies are very rare as in like her so they are trying to capture you because you're so unique and you will find other characters that have the same type of features later but different animals so you have to fight npcs as well as the big bo boss battles as you progress you can talk to people just for story extras you can buy items so it's it's quite diverse and you can explore a lot So this is a little bit, like the game itself isn't lewd at all, but the CGs are a bit more suggestive sometimes. Um. I could tell with a game like this actually. <laughs> but that, that, I'm assuming that other one is a bunny as well. I think, I think she's a lamb. Look at her ears. Oh damn, you're right. I mean, they're all really cute, so... You, you just meet a lot of different characters and witches and fairies and stuff so it's um, it's really a long story in, in a good sense of the way there is a ton of stuff going on and so you, you you have a lot of gameplay available I think at least at least 20 or 30 hours and this isn't going to be like a very heavy game but you have a lot for the, the content that, that the price that you're getting. So those girls are going to try to annoy me and because you're a bunny you know nothing so you're, you don't understand how humans work or you, you, don't, you don't expect people to um, try to be nefarious so this is a bit of a surprise. This is a, definitely a pre-release build. Yes, no, this isn't the final build. We haven't uh, gone through QA yet. Um, the game will actually be available in quite a few languages. It's not just English. Um, you'll get it in French, English, German, and Spanish. Italian as well, I think. So because there's no voice acting, you, you basically get the game in, in most European languages, which is really cool for such a small game. It's a niche title. I also saw earlier that it actually has um, the Japanese language is also still in there as well. Mm. Yes, we will have all of that and I wonder if Chinese as well. Oh, I've, I've already done this. Because we're talking, I didn't pay attention, so I have to go. So like any platformer, we see the thing is with this. Okay, mm, there is oh, also saving. I don't have any I don't have any weapons yet. I haven't I haven't found the Please just have to avoid enemies for the time being. Yes, so you can see other types of bunnies. If I go that way, I don't actually
taking longer than usual to load. This is, yeah. So, um, you can also obviously see that you have, um, what's it called? You will have a map, you will have like a list of things. Um, but the map is per level, so you, you can Also, it's very similar to like Super Metroid. Yes. I've noticed with the way that they do the map <laughs> on the bottom right hand side. Mm -hmm. Very, very similar to the whole um, the whole Metroid-esque style. Mm -hmm. It's represented in blocks. Yes. Um, I'm not sure where I'm meant to go. I, I mean, I, I have played this bit before, but it won't let me. Dying. It's fine. I think we all are on the Sunday. Yes, it's, my throat is. <coughs> so. We can try and go to the very far right. Yeah. And sort of exit on there. This is usually pretty straightforward because you have a lot of exploring. But um, I'm supposed to find something really early on because I have no weapon to defend myself. So you can see different levels. Um, obviously, you'll have stuff always in the background, and you can you get later on like a super big uh, double jump. Uh, you have explosive carrots as well. That is what you get to explosive your carrots. Yes, yeah, they're like grenades, but just carrots. <laughs> Best. So the whole game is actually kind of cute because they've they've kept the art style that she's uh, the thing is on the um, here yep. in the corner. So when she gets a weapon, she there is a moment that is like there we go, that's the magic hammer. There we go, that. <laughs> that's actually he's just like the holy hammer. Oh, there we go. Also, you have an SP bar which then dictates your action. Yes, but um, because. Obviously, I'm on casual first, and overall, it's it's actually it doesn't it isn't too much of a problem. So most of the things that hurt me, and I can later on upgrade upgrade my hammer and. get other weapons this is just the first one is quite is quite good oh I see I'm still not allowed to go I think there's a whole town on the right hand side on the right hand side yes. it auto saves here all the time makes it lag it's bad I think it might be because it's cool The fact that the screen would move that way in that scenario. Kind of hints that, but there is definitely something up there, but I can't go until I get the super jumps, which is much later. <laughs> Poor little bunny. That did 23 units of damage. of the story and that kind of stuff. There we go, my hammer level has, has increased. I am now... You have a pressure attack. I think I do a little bit more damage as well. Cool bunny. There we uh -huh. go, this is the first save point. That's what a, that's what a elaborate looking save point. 
Yes, but the good thing is every time you save, so you press down and you make a save file, that also heals you. So if you're in between combats, you can just walk under it and get the save um, and a heal. So very much like Metroid. Which I've never played because I wasn't born, but... Um, we need to have a chat after <laughs> this is done. Sorry. Um, basically, in the save stations in Metroid, whenever you saved, even if you didn't save, it automatically refills all health and FB missile. And mana, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, this is like a really seamless uh, in thing in the game, actually. It's, it's, it's a nice thing that goes on. Um, Ooh, what's that? This is a teleport. I think I need somebody to show me, because obviously you're still looking for your master and you don't know much yet. Um, so you will meet other people quite soon. In this game, ooh, even the flowers are me. Oh, that's totally not fair. <laughs> oh, a big one. Boom. Right, so Where like have I seen those springs before? Those springs are oh, like every game ever. Yep. Super Mario. Something's gonna happen when you there's a heal, yeah, yeah, and you're just like, yep. Boss, this was boss battle. Mrs. Kitty. This makes me think of Pokemon, the way they have the uh, exclamation mark on top of them, and her name is Coco. Question that uh, on Erina's design. She has one thigh high sock on one leg. I don't know why. I have been wondering myself, but it's a bit like. Ooh. Does one leg get cold? <laughs> why, like, why would a bunny have stockings? Why does she only have one? Maybe it's explained later. But I, I, I need to play more. I've only gone. I've, I've done like two or three hours, and there's a lot more story to come. So. Oh dear. So this is the first shot that she has exploded. Did you a, sh a, a bloody hell of a yeah. That, that combo hurts a lot. Right, so this is the first of the bullet hell, but obviously because it is the first one, it's pretty simplistic. It's just to show you what, how the game... Oh, oh, boy. oh no, hang on. This is Obviously, I've, I've almost killed her, so this is the, the easy bit, but you certainly do have characters that are way harder to kill as you progress in the game. She says no violence after she tried to beat yeah. me multiple times. She's just upset that she got beaten up with a hammer. To be fair, who right. wouldn't? <laughs> uh, I was just trying to talk to her, and she just ran... I mean, I did beat her up, but... Um, justified there. Justified, absolutely. Um, yeah, I think save and we can stop here because this is like a lot of the features basically in the games have been shown here and the rest is to be discovered because it's actually there is a lot to be seen and we won't cover it just now Ow. anyway so rabbi ruby coming this summer on ps4 Soon. and ps vita oh i cannot wait nice <laughs> i'm looking forward to the vita version myself all right that's it for rabbi ruby thanks everyone for watching be catching you later. Now I think we have tournament stuff. Coming oh up yes. Soon.